Elbo dislocation. Elbow dislocation is partial or complete separation of the joint surfaces of the elbow. In complete, the joint surfaces are completely separated. Okay. In par partial, the joint surfaces are only partially separated. Partial separation is also called subluxation. Here is a complete elbow dislocation. We can see complete separation of the joint surfaces okay this is the humerus and it's completely separated from the elbow joint or the forearm bones the white thing here is the joint surfaces and there is no attachment between the joint surfaces of the humerus and the elbow so we have complete elbow dislocation in subluxation or partial separation we have just partial separation from this uh, between these surfaces okay uh, of course the most common cause of elbow dislocation is falling down outstretched hand so as a result the posterior dislocation is the most important and is the most common okay posterior is the most important because falling down in outstretched hand both the forces on the uh, elbow posteriorly and that lead to posterior uh, posterior dislocation or posterior lateral dislocations which is the most common of course anterior dislocation can happen lateral medial and divergent dislocations can happen also in lateral the ulna and the radius dislocate laterally in medial they dislocate medially and in divergent type each one of them goes in a different side one of them the ulna goes medially and the radius goes laterally okay the signs of and symptoms of uh, dislocation of the elbow is like any fracture of the elbow or like any dislocation around two joints pain swelling bruising restriction restriction of motion and also we can have some fractures that may cause radial palsy or ulnar palsy etc ulnar palsy is more common of course okay radial palsy is more common with the uh, humerus shaft fracture but in radial and elbow dislocation or in elbow fractures we can have ulnar uh, Palsy as a rule in a lot of cases, of course. To treat, we have to reduce the uh, dislocation in a place, but before reduce, we have to remember to do neurovascular examination, and after reduction, we have also to do neurovascular examination again. Then we have to put a cast. Okay, a cast, elbow cast, to just above 90 degree flexion of the elbow, and we have to support the wrist with a cuff and collar. Cast is removed uh, after just one week, and the collar after three weeks. Okay, the cast in elbow dislocation is removed after one week. Again, don't forget to do neurovascular examination before and after reduction. I want just to show you oh, okay this is the x-ray with posterior dislocation of the elbow joint in very rare cases we have uh, just just radial dislocation isolated dislocation of the radial head okay and this is in pediatric mainly of course you have to search for an associated ulnar refraction just put Okay. okay here we have isolated radial head dislocation this is very rare cause okay isolated radial head dislocation 